A few years ago, I was given the opportunity to make a couple of the official builds that come with Snowy Escape, and this was like the coolest thing that has ever happened to me. I mean, you can imagine, as a massive fan of The Sims, being asked to work on a build that was going to be officially in the game was really, really special. And I realize that I am a little bit biased here, but I honestly think that Mount Komorebi is one of the better worlds in The Sims 4, and it was certainly one of, if not the best worlds that they had ever made at the time. And that really comes down to, I think, the community involvement in that pack. Up until that point, a lot of the worlds were really bad, like embarrassingly bad. I don't really understand how or why they were releasing lots that were just as bad as they were. Think like the Get Famous mansion that's missing toilets. In Realm of Magic, there's a house that has a staircase to nowhere in the back because they forgot to put the back door. In that cool plane crash house in Strangerville, you physically cannot cook because they didn't put the kitchen counters right, so you can't use any of them to cook on. This is so mean, but like beyond just being kind of ugly, a lot of the official builds also had a lot of mistakes that made them kind of unplayable. So it was a massive positive change, I think, to start getting simmers to work on the builds. I built three of the lots in Mount Komorebi. I made this massive mansion. I built this smaller family home, and I also built this starter home. And I spent so much time on these lots. You don't even want to know how much time I spent on these lots. I think some of you can maybe relate to this, but I spent so much time on this house in particular and so much heartache went into this house that I almost can't even look at it. I think that makes sense, right? We're all our own biggest critics and this house I am the biggest critic of. I am really proud of it. It just kind of hurts my soul to look at because I always think of things I could have done better, you know? But I thought it might be kind of fun to revisit the starter home today. The starter home for this posed a very unique challenge. When you're making these builds for EA, we have a few restrictions that we're sort of stuck with. The first is obviously item limitations. You can only put so many objects in these builds because they want them to run on everybody's computers. So as we're doing them, they had us constantly sending in drafts to check performance. But also when we start these, there was no items from the pack in the game. So we kind of start with just the base game and like having seen some pictures of concept art. So I knew in my mind I would eventually replace the base game window with the snowy escape windows, but I didn't actually have them yet at first. And then to make matters worse, the prices are one of the last things that they do in game. So it took us a few months to work on these and they were slowly giving us updates as the items were being finished, they would add them into the game, but they weren't priced correctly until like the very end. So here I am trying to build a starter home and I'm using all these items, but I don't actually know how much they're gonna cost. So it took a lot of different drafts as they were slowly pricing them and adding all these different things in to eventually come to this finished product. I actually made an entire video on the process with some behind the scenes of of making these builds that I can link down below for you. But today I wanna see about maybe redoing this build and see if I can do a better job. I actually still really like the shape of it. I like the layout. I really wanted to use the new Kotatsu table. I wanted to have some platforms. At the time, platforms were like the new big build feature. So I really wanted to use them. It's also kind of funny to look back on because you see a few things like for example, this bonsai tree at the time, it didn't have any additional swatches. We only had one swatch on this item for the longest time and now we have a ton more. And in these builds, we can't use any cheats. So no move objects, no alt placing. I'm pretty sure in this one, we weren't even allowed to press F5 to put it on quarter tiles. The rules they've used for different packs have kind of changed. I think they're sort of experimenting with it, but we weren't allowed to do anything with these builds. And on this house, they kind of called it a starter home Plus. So the final product, the actual lot is like 19,400, but if you're moving into it, you need like 20,200. That's because it's two bedrooms, so you need to have at least two Sims living there to pay for it. So the plan is to bulldoze this. <laughs> all of my hard work gone. And I want to rebuild it using just the base game, just Snowy Escape, and all of those same restrictions. Ignore the fact that this Stanley was eaten by a cow plant. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. And this might be a good time to mention that I actually have a creator code with EA. So if you're planning on buying any Sims packs, you can use code LILSIMSY at checkout and I will earn a 5% commission on the sale. It's really easy. At checkout, all you have to do is put LILSIMSY in that promo code box. It's unfortunately not a discount code or like a promo code for you, but I do earn money off of it if you use my username there. It's a really great way to help support Sims creators because you might already be buying the pack. So you might as well put somebody's username there in that box. A lot of your 
favorite Sims creators have creator codes, and like I said, mine is just Lil Simsy. So if you're planning on buying Snowy Escape because you like the build so much, <laughs> you can use my username at checkout or any Sims pack. It's just, I thought it'd be nice to mention here. And the first thing we're gonna do to get started is set our money back down to 20,000. Honestly, I might even set it back down to like 19,000, just so we can try and keep it on the lower price end. When they're trying to do these official builds, they really want to have a little bit of extra money for you. When you start playing in the house, you want to be able to afford to actually play the game, right? So you want to have a little bit of wiggle room there. You don't want a new player to move in and then have like five simoleons left, right? I feel like we could probably benefit from making this house a little bit smaller than what I originally did. There was a lot of open space on the inside, which isn't really a bad thing, but I think we could save a little bit of money by kind of condensing it. And I still want the shape to be slightly similar to a few of these houses that you see nearby. That's kind of what I was going for when I built it. I wanted it to look like it blended in to the neighborhood. I had a little bump out like right here and I was using that as the extra bedroom. I think I might still do that, but I might even make it smaller. I feel like this actually has some potential. Maybe I could raise this up because then we could have that same entryway that I had originally, but we can make it look a little bit cooler. I wonder if we could even have the staircase be like right here somehow. I don't really know what to do about this with the platforms, but I wonder if the staircase could go in this section. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's get rid of the whole platform for a second. I think something like that might be kind of cool. I don't know if I want it to be open. Yeah, if I do it like this, I can't really have a TV. And I did really like having the TV before. I'd probably want to open this up the same upstairs. This is even maybe a little bit too big now that I think about it. Should I make it smaller? I wonder if we could split it up like this upstairs because that might be kind of cool. I realize this is turning out extremely similar to what we just looked at, but keep in mind that I'm kind of doing that on purpose. <laughs> I'm kind of trying to redo it, but just like new and improved. I wonder what would happen if I built myself an extra bathroom downstairs. That kind of changes things a little bit here. I don't actually know if we're gonna be able to afford to do that, but I think it might be worth testing just for fun. Should I shrink it again? No, that's way too small. I also used on the outside mostly this sort of reddish toned wood, and I don't really like this reddish toned wood, but I think that it's maybe good for this. This. It's also kind of expensive to do it like this, but I don't think that's bad. I'm just gonna put the same wood floors like pretty much everywhere real quick and the same little tile. I don't think I'll use this particular tile, but I wanna make sure we have something. We do have a door from Snowy Escape. However, I don't think that it's worth using. <laughs> this door is very ugly. <laughs> I'm gonna come back to that. Can't intersect with walls. Oh no. See, this is why I had it go all the way across originally. It looked more like the other houses over here. No matter how I do this, it's gonna be bad. There's gonna be like a hole. <laughs> That's not what anybody wants. I wanna try and use that same stair color inside, but again, kind of a scary color. So who knows if it's good or not. Maybe I'll just do three windows so we can avoid this weird problem with the centering. And then I can center the staircase with the door. That should be good. I also originally had something like this. Not sure if we can afford these columns, but it would be really cool if we could. Like how nice is that to have the little columns right there? I would love to have something more decorative inside. I got some nice windows inside of the bedroom downstairs, so that's good. I feel like we have to use this door, whether I like it or not. Colors, not my favorite. <laughs> I won't lie, I'm not obsessed but it's fine. Something else kind of interesting is that they really, really wanted us to have a separate toilet room in this house. That was like a request for a lot of the builds that we were doing on this one. The idea being to have something kind of like this, like the tub and the sink in one room, toilet in another. That does happen a lot in different places around the world, but they wanted us to try and do it here in these builds. So I feel like I should do that in this build just because they would have asked me to do it originally. The snowy escape counters are actually really expensive, which is kind of a shame. We can't really use the snowy escape fridge or anything because that's way 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 too expensive but we can definitely get the cheapest base game stuff and we can get a little sink they don't really have a lot of options for like wall decor <laughs> or upper cabinets or anything i think i used this shelf originally so i'll probably use that again i think i also used this originally, so I'll probably do that again, again. I do like this snowboard table. However, I don't really think that I want to use that here. I might just get something cheaper because <laughs> at this point, money is a big, big, big problem.
problem. <laughs> I don't know how much money the Snowy Escape bookshelf is. 400? Yikes. Oh, that is almost definitely gonna be too much money. <laughs> that's okay, I guess. I had used this nice big rug before. I don't think that's gonna work here. We can't size anything down. We can't move anything around. Like, this is really, really, really difficult. I don't even know if having this platform is worth it. I'm kind of just doing it to do it. <laughs> I would love to figure out a better way to arrange these tatami mats. I feel like this room is just kind of an odd size. So I don't know what the best way to do it is. I wonder if I can maybe just arrange it like this. Believe it or not, I've been looking up pictures and like looking at real life ones, trying to figure out the best way to do it. But I just think with how The Sims works and how it's a floor tile, it's hard to make it fit in this room. I feel like that's already a step up from what I built originally though, just because it has more of the items being used. The snowy escape bed is so expensive. <laughs> this one is too. I would love to use it, but I just feel like it costs so much money. Same with the desk. I mean, the desk is only 365, so it's not the worst thing in the world. I know I get made fun of all the time for doing this, but I'm gonna put the desk in the hallway. I just think that it's a nice way to use the hallway. We could potentially, I guess if we really wanted to, try and swap this out and make for like two bedrooms upstairs. When they had me do this build originally, the goal was to have two bedrooms. It was a two bedroom, one bathroom house. Okay. I'm now kind of wondering if doing it like this is better. This is so strange, okay? I understand that it's so strange, but I am kind of feeling like maybe we can split this up a little bit better. Makes for a slightly more interesting floor plan, perhaps? It's definitely weird. <laughs> I think this is worse, actually, now that I'm looking at it. But we don't need to have two bathrooms. There's no need to have two bathrooms in this house. It's so small. I'm looking at like other little pieces of art and various things that we could maybe try to include. I love this tea shelf. It's 200 60 simoleons though. I love this item. I feel like that, like some sort of thing hanging in the entryway would be such a nice touch. It's 110, which isn't the worst, but it's not great either. Initially when I did this, I tried very hard to make this extra room be very ambiguous. Like it could be a teen's room, it could be a kid's room. Okay. <laughs> I can't put this item there because I can't intersect other objects. I could put that in this hallway. It would be cool to use the hot pot too because that's one of the new items. And when they do these builds, they really try to incorporate incorporate a lot of the new stuff in them, especially if there's gameplay items that are new. It makes sense when you're building a starter home for an official pack, you want to include new things so that people can immediately start using them. They also wanted me to include this no shoes sign. It doesn't really fit anywhere. I don't really like it just being above the door. I think it's kind of random, but maybe we could use that somewhere and try and make it seem like it's decor. But this sign has functionality because it makes it so they take their shoes off when they come inside. Originally, we just had the sign, but now this shoe rack has that same functionality. I want to cry. <laughs> I would do anything to alt place this. I'm being so serious. I would do anything if I could place that a little bit closer to the wall, but we're not allowed to alt place. So I guess not. Same thing with this. I could alt place this and it would fit, or maybe not actually. Oh, well, never mind. Well, my point stands. I wish I could alt place that. <laughs> that's 200 simoleons, and you can't even put it properly in the corner either. That's what's so annoying about it. Tea for two dozen shelf. I mean, the tea display case is cheaper than this bookshelf. It's not functional though, is the only problem. Should I get windows in here? Probably. I feel like that's actually really nice to have a lot of windows in the side of the building. It looks terrible from the outside, but it's a starter home. So what are you gonna do? Are we gonna use this horrible red color? I don't think I can bring myself to do that. I don't really know about this room. Okay, we can't alt place the nightstands either. <laughs> that hurts. I usually would like scoot these things over so much more. This is a safety deposit box. And this item also only costs 180. So that's even less than the big tea cabinet. I'm trying to think like what pieces of furniture from Snowy Escape can I use that are cheap? <laughs> <laughs> and that's probably a good one. I think it would be nice if we had at least a couple things, some sort of small items on the shelf. They're kind of pricey. That's a hundred. Mm, let's do the 80 simoleon plates. We also need to pick the bathroom stuff. <laughs> I've really been putting that off too. Okay, this is another fun thing. This tile is new. This didn't exist when the game first came out. So I wouldn't be able to use this swatch originally, but I can use it now. And so I think I will. <laughs> There's a slightly more expensive sink. I think I prefer that one because it matches the bathtub better. I feel like it would be really cool if we could use this shower. Oh my goodness. And the new mailbox obviously has to be used. That's free. So we can put that easily. <laughs> that part's no problem. Unfortunately, I don't know how to use this without 
cheating because I would I would use it But I don't really know how to make it fit without it being really horrible Is there like a darker more? Oh, you know what? Maybe we could try some of these darker tiles just as an idea. This bathroom is huge It's it's unnecessarily big. I don't even think I like it very much <laughs> But I, I think it's an improvement compared to what we had before and also considering the limitations that we have with this building It is turning out. Okay. I'm pretty sure I had used this item on the front porch before. I actually really like how that looks. I think it's nice to have some more color in the front too. This thing's great to put on the desk. Okay, this item barely fits anywhere, so that's bad. Maybe I'll use it like that. I think we could also totally use this as like a cool decorative thing in one of the bedrooms. Like imagine if we sort of combined this together and we got this cool snowboard theme. This picture costs 320 simoleons. To me that feels extremely excessive. <laughs> it's so small. I want to use it so bad, but it's so hard to fit. Oh, you can't put that against the wall. Are you being so serious right now? Can you put anything against this wall or does it not go there because of the right. Okay, so it's it's because of the the wall art that you can't put anything next to that. I'm I'm really trying to not let it get to me. I'm really trying to not let it get to me. <laughs> I'm finding that extremely weird though, I won't lie. Why is it that that's the closest you can put? I don't understand this at all. We didn't have the opportunity to use this item either because this didn't exist at the time when we made this build. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe that you can't put this right here. Isn't that just ridiculous? That's not how I want this to look at all. I think that's kind of an interesting improvement though for the kids room. I might keep that. I really wish that I could alt place things and move them around but I, I gotta just let it go because I can't. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to. It's not possible. On the outside of the house I wanted to put like a solid color in the ground I felt like using some sort of terrain paint was kind of the best thing to do. I don't need that mailbox anymore. And then I can also scoot this over one tile so it's nice and centered, which will be nice. I had used this Japanese maple tree in the front of the house originally. I would love to use another tree in the front somehow. I'm not really sure which one is best. We should definitely get some sort of outdoor light to put on the wall over here. <laughs> okay, um, I can't. I don't wanna put it that high up. That looks terrible, whatever. I wanna have at least one outdoor light. We still have 1300 simoleons, so it might not be bad if we could get some sort of outdoor space. Oh, you know what else we don't have is any bookshelf because I got rid of it all. I should probably put a bookshelf on the desk because then you still have the functionality of the bookshelf, obviously, even though we don't have a giant bookshelf anymore. It might be kind of cool if we could have a couple planter boxes because you could use those for garden. Gardening. I'm totally wondering about putting in a fence and having like a fenced in little back garden, but that's gonna cost so much money. I would love to do that though. I think that would be such a nice touch. If we could like split this up, that gives us 575. But then we could maybe have some grass back here. I would really like to do something to make it not all stone completely. Yikes, I kind of ruined how that looks with the outside. So I need to put stone back. I don't want to have the grass like overlapping. <laughs> this looks really weird like this. Okay, something like that though. Obviously there is no back door and I guess a back door would be a nice touch. I wonder if I could put one in. As long as it's less than 180 simoleons it's still worth it and that does give us more light because we have bigger windows. I think that's actually cheaper. I think we just saved money. Okay that leaves us with 640 simoleons to decorate the whole backyard <laughs> if you can even call it that. We could probably fill in this part with a patio. Oh you know what we need is a trash can. <laughs> I didn't put a trash can inside or outside. I knew I was forgetting something. Okay, trash can outside. We really should have a trash can inside too. That makes me feel sad, but it's necessary. I'd love a plant downstairs. That would be super nice. Is there literally anything that is cheap enough for us to put out here? Anything at all? The snowy escape table is 325 on its own. So, oh, there's like picnic tables though, isn't there? Oh, it's 400. Maybe I can make the yard smaller. Why does it, okay, the trash can fits tucked away in the corner and then I have 400 simoleons left. I had to make it a lot smaller, but it worked. Now I can use this picnic table. I actually don't think that was worth it. There is a cheaper base game picnic table. That comes in a nicer color as well, so maybe that is better. I could have a little snowy escape plant on it. The last thing I want to do is just get a little bit of extra terrain paint. There's not that much that can be done when you have a house that's supposed to be this cheap and this small, but you know what? I think all things considered, this is actually not the worst thing. I, I think that this probably is an improvement from what we had originally. This has just thrown me back deep into trying to do this the first time and it's really hard. It's harder than you think to make these houses that are this small and this cheap. Can I use this? If that's the last thing I do, okay, I can't use it. <laughs> 
Never mind. I was gonna try. It's difficult though. And I think it's kind of an interesting experiment to come back and see what I would do differently if I were to do this again in the future. We've definitely had a few base game updates that I think helped us. We have a new rug, some new swatches. Oh, I had the bonsai tree, didn't I? Oh, that was cool. You know what? I can get that back. I wonder, oh, hold on. I'm not done yet. I have a new idea. I actually really liked having the bonsai tree. I think that was a really fun touch. Maybe we could use a smaller door. I'm gonna put the little back door just so I can do that. You know what? I think that was worth it. I think that's really cool. Okay, now we can be done. <laughs> We've got plenty of skill items. We have a backyard now. I'm gonna call this a snowy escape starter. Two bedrooms, one bathroom. And like I mentioned earlier, I'll link down below the video that I made about the process of building these originally. I think you might find it kind of interesting and you can see some behind the scenes stuff about how it worked as well. It is officially on the gallery for you if you want to download it. And like I mentioned earlier, I do have a creator code. So if you're planning on buying any Sims packs and you want to support me, you can just use the code LilSimsy at checkout or you could use any creator's code. It doesn't cost you anything and it makes EA pay a Sims creator, which is a big win in my book. Thank you for watching. Have the best rest of your day and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Now let me know if I should ever try to renovate that mansion because I don't know if I could bring myself to do that yet, but maybe someday. <laughs>